WebTrieve is an internet-based application from ALS Environmental that provides real-time access to all your analytical results and laboratory data in Canada. All ALS clients can use WebTrieve. To log in, visit webtrieveNA.alsenviro.com. First-time users can register for access by clicking Register Now and completing the form, including selecting a specific ALS laboratory. Once the account is approved, a follow-up email will be sent notifying you that the account is now active. Access to WebTrieve is generally granted in one business day. Existing users will log in with your email address and password. Only one login and password is required to access all your data regardless of the ALS laboratory in Canada where your samples were analyzed. The Work Orders page allows you to see an overview of your complete and incomplete work orders with the project details. Use the search options to locate a specific work order. Search using a date range or by selecting an option from the drop-down menu and clicking Go. Click Incomplete or Complete to filter results by project status. You can also search for work orders using a partial name or number. Click a work order to view the details of an individual project. Sample results and incomplete work orders are displayed as IP until the results have been validated by the laboratory. Mouse over the cell to view the current status of the sample in the laboratory. To filter by a specific result, select an option from the header drop-down menus. Results marked with an asterisk are results that have been flagged by the laboratory. Mouse over the cell to see the qualification. To view and compare multiple work orders on one screen, check the boxes next to the desired work orders and click Show Results. Export the compiled work orders to a spreadsheet by clicking Export to Excel. Click Return to go back to the default home screen. Apply regulatory guidelines to an individual and multiple work orders using the Apply Guidelines drop-down menu. ALS regulatory guidelines are populated and controlled by ALS. Each guideline includes the creation or last edit date in parentheses. Combined guidelines, which are listed near the bottom of the drop-down list, are common combinations of guidelines created by ALS. First, select the guideline, then select the category. The categories are split into two options individuals or suites. Suites are common combinations within a particular guideline created by ALS. When the guidelines have been applied, all results that have limits will be tested to see whether they are greater than the limit, shown in red, less than or equal to than the limit, shown in green, or cannot be determined, shown in purple. Mouse over cells that are highlighted in red or purple to view the category failures associated with the result. Client guidelines are user-created and controlled. Select Client from the drop-down menu, then choose the guideline. When the guidelines have been applied, all results that have limits will be tested to see whether they are greater than the limit, shown in red, less than or equal to the limit, shown in green, or cannot be determined, shown in purple. Mouse over cells that are highlighted in red or purple to be the category failures associated with the result. Please note that the application of guidelines are provided as is, without warranty of any kind. Contact your ALS account manager for a copy of specific guidelines. To create a new client guideline, open an individual work order, select Manage Guidelines, and click Add. Once created, all client guidelines can be viewed and edited using the Guidelines button in the top links. Export the work order results to a spreadsheet by clicking Export to Excel. The export function will retain the original formatting, including the color-coded results. Click Work Order Info to see the quality control details for the work order, including duplicates, spikes, standards, and client distribution contact information. To send a work order by email, click Request Deliverables. Select the report type, add your email address, and click Submit Request. You can also perform this function on the default home screen. Click Create New COC to generate a new chain of custody form from an existing work order. 
the work order information will be automatically populated into the new chain of custody form. Edit the information as needed and click Submit and Add Samples. Next, click Edit to edit or add samples and analysis requests as needed. Then, click Print COC to generate a letter-sized PDF. Click Print Labels to print out the bottle and vial labels, including the correct number of container types needed. For complimentary label sheets, contact your ALS account manager. You can also create Chain of Custody forms by clicking Chain of Custody forms in the top links. Samples can be grouped together using sample tags. This function allows you to graph the results historically for trending purposes. To add a sample tag, open an individual or multiple work orders so the results are visible on the screen. Mouse over the ALS ID you wish to tag and click on it. Choose an existing sample tag or select New Sample Tag and enter a new name. Sample tags can also be added by clicking Sample Tags in the top links. Click Manage, Add ALS Sample Number, and click Add. When the sample has been tagged, a luggage tag icon will appear next to the ALS Sample ID. To view the sample tag results, click Sample Tags on the top links and click on the sample tags results you wish to view. Click on an analyte to view the trend of an individual analyte results over time. Data trending statistics and a graphical representation of the results over time are displayed. Regulatory limits appear as lines on the graph and the regulatory names and limits will appear in the legend at the bottom of the graph. Click Export to Excel to export the graph as an image. View your profile by clicking User Profile in the top links. For security purposes, you are not permitted to change your email address or fax number. If you require changes to these fields, click Email a request to update information. Click Notices in the top links to view and download user guides and the latest documents for changes made to regulatory limits. This feature is also available on the login page. For any additional information regarding WebTree, please visit www.alsglobal.com or contact your ALS account manager.